Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations, Noah. Um, you talk a lot about transcending the sport. And um, you talked yesterday at the press about um, the world champions going to watch the Super Bowl. How much would it mean to you to get an invite to the White House or probably one of the Super Bowl um, big events um, in the United States? And what sort of welcome do you think you'll get when you get back home? To be honest, I don't know what I'm going to get. I know I'm going to have to fight for it, though. Just like everything else in my life, you know, I got to. Track and field is one of those sports where it, it's not here to give you the easy access to the world. You have to make your own likeness. You have to fight for your own spotlight. And that's why, you know, me and my agent, we fight so hard. That's why I do so much of this media, because I know what it's going to take. I know how to get out of the box, and I know that I have to keep pushing. And sometimes it really feels like it's not doing anything. You know, I came to these world championships, and I had a about 396,000 followers on Instagram, and it probably grew by about 50K. And some people would be like, oh, that's a great margin. I'm like, that's nothing. That's nothing. If it were being seen on TV by millions of people, I can't get a portion, I can't get 100,000 at least from that. Like, I've had to work for all the followers that I get, and, you know, where I see that is in my engagement. So when I go to these companies, and I'm like, hey, you know, you know let me be your spokesman. You know, I'm basically telling them how to run their social media because my engagement is better than their engagement. So now I have power. And it just goes back to knowing my worth, knowing how to work the system, knowing what I have to bring to the table. And again, it's, we're in that sport where we have to keep pushing and we have to know that when the spotlight is on us, we know what to do with it.